Uh, I'm not sure if you saw the so Cam versus Daniel Rodriguez. What did you think about that fight? Um, yeah, it was a bad fight for BJ. That's. Uh, I felt like if BJ was gonna make a comeback, he's gotta have a like a, a tune-up fight and then get that momentum going before he jumps right into like a, a young, hungry, undefeated fighter like that. Would you like want to see him retire so he doesn't, something like that doesn't happen? Or? You know, I can't. Uh, I can't say or you know, it, it's not my. You know, I, I don't think my thought matters. It, it all comes down to the fighters if they're gonna decide to retire or not. You know, but I, I you know I feel like BJ just got matched up against a beast, and he was on, and he's he's got a, a streak going, and you know sometimes you need a like I said a tune-up fight before you jump in with with the yeah, lions yeah, with the young lions. So you're known for throwing some crazy kicks. Uh, do you think uh, here is the future? Of as far as like uh, him being the real deal, of course, your is is the real deal, and um, you know he represents the traditional martial arts, which is is awesome, and uh, he's, he's a beast. So, you know, is there any fight you're looking forward to? Because uh, for me personally, uh, I like the Ferguson versus Khabib, but for you, is there any fight you're looking forward to? You know what? I enjoy all fights that are competitive and that they they put it all on the line. You know, so. Sometimes you don't know, so you just got to watch them all. Tell us about tomorrow's uh, matchup between Ortiz uh, and Solomon. Um, actually, it's a, it's a, actually a really good matchup. Both uh, high-level wrestlers, but you know, um, Chael got that win in college, and uh, Tito, uh, you know, Tito's been around. He's fought everyone, and um, they're both trying to hold on to. Um, uh, you know their their careers right now, and I, I think uh, they, they both have a lot to lose, so they're both going to go after it. Does that make a big difference that you mentioned the the wrestling match they had in college? Do you feel that that's applicable now, kind of in 20 years later, like in, in MMA? I mean, does that does Chael have like a big mental advantage because of that? You know, I think both guys they're both mentally strong. Um, I don't think. If you lost in wrestling, it might be a motivation for Tito. So, um, you know, different fighters think different ways, but I feel that Tito's motivated to get redemption, and Chael is motivated because I saw the, the you know, in focus with uh, Chael and both Tito, and um, I, I feel like, you know, um, Chael. He likes to talk the talk, but he also tries to back it up. So both guys are going to go gung ho, and let's see, uh, let's see two warriors go at it. You said you're a big fight fan. Who's the one fighter that you, when you hear they're fighting, you're like, it's much watch TV. I need to watch that guy. Well, you know, um, for me, w when I was starting out, I, I used to love watching Randy Couture, um, you know, George St. Pierre, and then, uh, you know, at one point, uh, you know, uh, John, you know, John, uh, uh, John Bones Jones, uh, but you know. Um, I'm actually enjoying uh, the, the female fights. Hey, you know, they're 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 exciting. They 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 put it all on the line, and and uh, you know, it's a uh, you know, just a, like a lot of people always have negative things to say, but look how far the sport's gone. It's like mainstream everywhere. You know, Connors, he's a beast. You know, who does that? Win wins two two belts. Mm -hmm. Puts his hand behind his back against a high-level fighter, you know, champion at different, you know, uh, uh, from champion from Bellator, champion in the UFC. You know, it's uh, it's entertaining, and I think um, people should just enjoy instead of talk. Get off that keyboard. How did you react when he did that? Because that was like Muhammad, Muhammad Ali asked when. Well, you know, um, once he got in his rhythm and he knew and he was confident, you have that going. It's it's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. So you, you brought up uh, female fighting. What was your take on the whole Ronda situation? Kind of her not wanting to talk to media beforehand, and then she took the loss. What what was your thoughts on that whole situation? This is how I see it. Um, with the Ronda situation, 
if you're really focused and you want to get back on the win streak, you had a bad loss and so 400 something days off, yeah, something like that. She she was all in. She was all in for that fight. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, you know, I think uh, the wrong camp, the wrong coaching, and uh, that's 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 fifty percent of the game right there. If you have the right coach, the right camp, they're gonna help you do the right things and then get you feeling the right way. And if you don't have that, you know, as soon as you get hit, you know, you might revert to holy shit what am I doing here uh, that hurt <laughs> you know um, but um, she didn't want to you know like Rondo's still there get tagged and of course you know who, who would be in that situation but she didn't want to give up she was like hey if I'm gonna go out I'm gonna go out on my shield and you know it's, uh, it's unfortunate she's a huge name she you know um, I think after Gina Crono um, helped the female fight division. Rhonda came in and put the nail in the coffin and you know she's done a lot for the sport and I think after that first loss I would have sat down and I would have looked at the whole picture how I was being coached in the corner and you know I I saw the you know some of the coaching in a, a, a Holly Holm fight and I was like I would have I would have moved on and got a different, uh, the right team. Who's your favorite female fighter right now? Uh, man, they're all good. All the champions are good. I like them all. You know, they're they're there's no boring fighters out there at all right now. You know, uh, the, the 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 game has elevated so much. Every single division, every fighter is exciting. Sometimes they have a no, bad like match. Be, no, you know, they, they get they, they get caught in a, a bad fight. You know, so but most of the time, all the champions, you know, have good fights. And my last question: In the future, what's your fight for Connor? You're like, all right, I want to, I gotta see this before he retires. You know, I mean, whoever he wants to fight, and I, you know, whatever sells. I, I don't think of dream fights for anyone. You know, I, I just, hey, that's a great matchup. I'm gonna watch it. You know, um, that's it. Thank you so much, Tom.